all right so what is up everybody welcome back to another video so recently i've seen a lot of comment on my youtube channel saying that oh how do you download the what's it called the cys macro oh what is auto hotkey and all in all well in this video i'm gonna show you guys how to download this cys animal asset macro and also how to set up your auto hotkey v2 before i continue with the video i would like to remind that only 1.1 percent of the viewer that are currently watching the video are subscribed so if you want to support the channel don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel it would mean a lot and yeah back to the video the system is actually pretty simple and i'll show you guys how so first of all all you got to do is go to your uh, web browser and search up auto hotkey and as first of all the top list should appear now i will put the link to this website in the description down below all you gotta do is press download and then remember to download the v2.01 because you need this one not this one so download this one and then just wait for it to download and once it finished downloading all you gotta do is just double click it and install and press yes and then the following script will be closed and blah 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 and there you go and that should work once you see this windows popped up uh, that means that it worked okay you've downloaded auto hotkey now is download the cys macro itself which i already have right here the main ahk and i'll show you right here with the roblox as well there you go i already have it right here and then how do you download the cys macro well currently since the website is down the only way to download the macro is actually to go to their official discord server which i will also put the link to join in the description down below once you join this discord all you got to do is that go to the anime last stand section which is down here and if you don't see this anime last stand section it's actually very simple you just go up here click this browse channel scroll down and then just make sure that anime last stand just follow the category and then all of this is check mark now cys not only has macro for anime last 10 they also have macro for anime fantasy anime royale anime vanguard anime guardian and currently those are the four i think one two three four five okay five five macro that they currently support and then once you actually have access to the anime last 10 section all you gotta do now is just go to their download and then just download the most uh what's it called the most newest one okay there's this one but since the new one just came out i think like two days ago download this one instead so all you gotta do is just press download continue downloading and then just wait and then once this finished downloaded all you gotta do now is go back to your uh this thing and then right click it and then extract so all you gotta do now is just extract this file as so one you once you finish extracting that file, you should have this file right here at my last 10, which is currently right here. This is what the file should look like in the inside. And then after you do that, all you gotta do now is just to double click this while having your Roblox open. And then it, this should pop up. And yeah, so this is the CYS macro layout. And currently they support a lot of stuff, including Raid, Legend Stage, uh, Oasis Infinite, which is currently the best way to farm reroll. Uh, multiple portal including tournament of power i think that's the only one and then tournament and then for raid they currently have almost every raid i think i don't really i can't really double check it but they almost have every raid same thing with legend stage as well and then for dungeon they have both infernal and monarch dungeon and then easter portal and then villain survival and also holy survival and then lastly babylonia boss rush which are currently the hardest content to do to macro now how do you actually use the cys macro well it's actually pretty simple now i'm gonna show you how this thing actually works so what does this layout mean so the first one which is slot which means that it's where you put your unit so for example if i put the number six it will place the six unit down somewhere and then for the upgrade is uh, upgrade zero is basically placement and then uh, upgrade one two and three and so on until max now the position now this is where the big thing start so let's say for example i want to do a legend stage on 
only I now let's do it on Shibuya Act One. Now, how do you use this actually? So for example, I want to make my own custom macro, okay, or for a specific stage with my own set of unit. Well, it's very simple. Let me put on a random team. Let's say I want to place my idol down. Now you don't have to be in game to do this. You can just wait in lobby while you're doing this. All you just gotta do is press set, and then all you gotta do is press right click somewhere, and then it will show that it will place that unit down. So I'll press six, and so that means that the unit number six will be placed down. But if I do six, and then one, and then all you gotta do now is uh, copy this one. So it will place the unit down first and then upgrade the unit. So yeah, so you need to put the unit slot, the exact number of the unit slot, and then the exact position. Now let's say I want to place Ichigo down. Well, I just gotta press 2 because he's in slot 2. And then upgrade number 0 since his placement. And let's say I want to place him here. And then there you go. It will try placing Ichigo down after upgrading Puma once. Now I'll show you that this actually works. Now, with the new macro, how do you start this actually? Well, it's actually very simple. Uh, you either gotta stay in the middle part of the map while facing summon, and then you start the macro by pressing F1, you press F2 to pause, and then to stop, you press F3. Now, the macro will find the stage on its own, and all you gotta do now is just wait. Now, you just gotta wait. You can see in the bottom left, of the cube it says process which is it will tell you what the macro is currently doing now you see that it will place the boomer down and then it will try upgrading it once now i'm not touching my keyboard or mouse right now everything that's currently happening is on its own now currently it's waiting for the money to come and then once uh, the money come it will upgrade idle once and then it will immediately place ichigo down just to show you that it worked okay let's just wait a little bit more upgrade it once and then place ichigo down and that's it and that's the entire process of macro i just gotta pause it now that's the proof that it worked now the next step of the macro is well let's say i don't want to make my own macro well that's it that's fine als cys macro has a community of a uh, macro maker which all you gotta do now is go to the als config now this is where you can download a uh, run or a uh, macro that people already made so let's say i want to do uh let's say i want to do hmm. central now uh, let's just pick a simple one okay let's just go to legend stage and then shibuya legend stage uh, it will show what you need to use and then it will also have this file right here now all you gotta do now is just download that file once you download that file all you gotta do now is go to the your main cys macro folder go to setting and then i downloaded a legend stage for shibuya which is right here now all you gotta do now is open that file now you can see that there is a couple of uh what's it called coordinate already placed in because i made one myself now, how do you transfer it? Well, it's actually really simple. You just open the same file. So currently I have two one, two Shibuya file open. This one is the one that I'll make on my own, and this is the one that I just download. All you just all you gotta do now is just basically uh, copy all of this, copy, and then paste it to one here, and then save, and that's it. Now, once you open your macro again or your CYS again. Let's open Legend Stage and then Shibuya. And there you go. It has its own macro ready. So you don't have to make your own. Now, uh, before you actually use the CYS macro, there are a couple of things that you need to set up, which is right here ALS setup. Now I'll explain it to you. So, first of all, you gotta make sure that your uh, window display is, if you can, 100%. Now, how do you check that? Well, it's actually really simple. Again, all you gotta do is just go to your desktop, right click, display setting, and you can see right here, scale. Make sure that it's 100% if you can. Now, next thing you need to do 
is that on the in-game, this is the exact things that you need to have. Auto ready turn off, auto, auto wave skip turn on, auto game speed, auto max range, and also just disable all of this stuff except unit selection on the right. And then for a graphic, just turn on this disable ability effect and disable screen shake. The next thing is for the actual Roblox setting, uh, default to 60 setting, 60 FPS. I'm sorry, and then for camera sensitivity, 0.2, and then everything just turned down. And there you go. Now let me place down my unit once again. Now that is actually pretty. Now that's that's probably it. That's probably the entire macro itself. Now there's there's still one more thing, which is how you make your own macro now this ys macro doesn't have a macro for and everything okay so let's just go back to lobby for a second there are a couple of stuff that you probably notice if you macro a lot that the cys macro doesn't have the most obvious one is the boss rush now the cys have the boss rush for babylonia which is right here but it doesn't have one for titan rush and godly rush now you can actually make your own custom which is right here custom which is where you can make your own macro with any map on the map and i mean any map on the game sorry and how do you do that well again it's actually very simple all you gotta do is uh go in game so let's say i want to do a uh, godly rush so you make you want to make your own custom one so you go to the stage, you enter in, and then just wait for it to load in. And then once you've spawned inside, don't move anything, don't press anything except one button, which is F4. So you click F4, just F4, and then you'll sell your zoom tag question mark, press yes, and then just wait until it's finished. And then there you go. In the bottom left, it'll say custom image, save to image slash custom. Now, if you press set, you can see that it's the exact map that you are currently on or the one that you just set. Now I can just set it, for example, I want to play, I want to place idle here and then I want to place Ichigo down here and then Kirito down here. I just got to place six for idle, two for Ichigo and three for Kirito. Now all I got to do now to start the macro again is just to basically restart the stage so it'll basically put my camera back to where it's supposed to be. And then I just got to press F1 and that, there you go. So I just got to press F1 now and then it'll move on its own. It'll press start and then it worked now. So yeah, there you go. Now, uh, with this macro, you don't really have to what's it called turn off seamless retry you can turn on seamless retry because you can see right here on the bottom right let me pause the macro for a second there's an option to turn off seamless retry so if i turn on seamless retry right here now it doesn't work on boss rush obviously but let's say you're doing a raid or a legend stage and you don't want to reload to the game because it takes a while all you get this got to do now is just click this now the game won't zoom in and out every time you finish a stage. And also, let's say for example, uh, instead of pressing retry on a raid or a legend stage, you just want to continue to the next act. All, well, all you got to do now is just to press the next button and it will press next instead of retry. Another thing is the macro can also automatically turn on some abilities now it's, it's not every abilities but some ability all you gotta do now is just press the auto ability and once that unit have access to that uh what's it called auto ability it will turn it on now the ichigo doesn't have it turned on because i didn't click i didn't check mark it earlier but since ichigo already has an ability on placement if i do restart the macro it will automatically press the auto ability button so yeah and also another thing is please if you have any question or any problem with the macro please ask it in the cys question okay i'm not an expert in this i only know some of it but overall i don't know a lot but the cys official discord 
has many many helper as you can see right here and also their uh, what's it called their dev team is very active and they are very knowledgeable as well so if you have any question or any problem with the macro just go to the question and ask okay so yeah uh also another thing is every time als uploaded a new update make sure to basically check if als cys macro has uh updated their macro okay because sometimes when als updated their game the old version of the macro doesn't work and you need to download the new one so yeah that is all for this video don't forget to again like and subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace